I've been waiting to talk about this for a while. I feel like I've been waiting to talk about this for like two to three years because I found out about the short film first and then later on I found out they're making a full length film about it. So when I found out, well, I saw the trailer for the full length film and I got excited like instantly. So now we're here, it's out. So if you don't know, Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Life. Is that the title? Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul. Save Your Soul. Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul is an independent film made by the, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mess up their last name, but no disrespect to them, but made, produced, written, directed by the Ebo sisters. I'm Madonna Ebo, I'm the writer and the director for Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul. And I'm Madonna Ebo, and I'm the producer of Hunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul. So it's a story of Lee Curtis, the pastor. I'm not sure if he's a bishop, elder, you know, all the rankings and stuff like that. I'm a preacher kid, by the way. I'm a preacher kid, so I know a little something. I know a little something, but they didn't go over his ranking if he's a bishop, elder, but he just goes by Lee Curtis. So Lee Curtis and his wife, there's Lee, his wife, Trinity, played by, I didn't forget her name, y'all. I didn't forget her name. Played by Regina Hall. So Lee Curtis is played by Sterling Brown that we were introduced mostly by the Waves movie and This Is Us, but <laughs> this is a different Sterling Brown. We get to see him, it's, it's his comedy chops. We get to see his comedy chops in this movie. Before we continue, man, I just gotta say, I kinda, I don't know why, but I, I, I miss Regina Hall. I don't know why, but I, I just really miss Regina Hall. I've been watching her interviews for this, for this uh, press tour of this movie, and I just miss her. Like, from like, I don't know, I just miss her in comedy. I think, I think that's it. I just miss Regina Hall in comedy. Like, her and Sterling just seems like they're in the element in this movie, and it's fun to watch. So, this movie is hilarious, y'all. It's hilarious. From, the, like, the first scene, I, I just bust out laughing. Like, I had one of the best laughs I had all week, like, from the first scene. Just being a preacher kid, because a, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of us, we grew up in like these type of churches and seeing it on stream, it adds its own element of comedy. So if you haven't seen the short film, I don't recommend watching the full length film and then watching the short film because if you do that in that order, it kind of belittles the short film. Because the short film is kind of like a extended trailer. You can see it as an extended trailer. The short film is actually here on YouTube and it's, it's surprisingly on Issa Rae's YouTube channel, so we got all kind of black excellence going on right here. If you don't want to watch it, you can go ahead and watch the, the full length film. Like it, you don't need to watch the short film to understand the full length film. But if you want it like a a better idea of what's going on before you watch the full length film, watch the short film first, and then watch the full length film. It was a. I wrote the feature before I wrote the short. Actually, I knew that I was going to make the short while I was in film school. Um, but I took like this feature writing class at UCLA and decided to make a short film version of it as sort of like a proof of concept of what could be a feature. So like I said, the movie is hilarious. There's a lot of comedy there, but there is a dark element to it. Once you get towards like the middle of the movie, then especially at the end, it, it gets, it, the comedy slows down, slows down, slows down until it gets to like a halt. A thing to keep in mind while watching this is, especially religious people, some of us, some of us, we, we can't like separate the two. So we have like our personal lives, our everyday lives, and then we have like our religion. And I think religion trumps our personal lives a lot. And you see this happen a lot in the movie with Lee Curtis. So Lee Curtis is all about the church and himself. But when it comes to himself, he's more about, okay, I need to, to like, project this image of like being a, a, the, the best Christian man I can be. When we're watching this character, Lee Curtis, you can tell he wants to believe what he's saying, like very, very bad. He wants to believe and actually do what he's saying, what he's preaching to these people. He, he's, he's actually helping people in preaching, but he never, he never takes the time to kind of like help, help himself. And that's where it, it gets. Like, uh, like it gets deep, it gets deep, it gets deep. Cause I know people in real life that can't separate the two, like I said, like religion and their personal lives. And, and their personal lives suffer because like it's all about religion, religion, religion. There's another scene that I love. I, I wanna, should I show it? I mean, I don't think it really spoils the movie. 
Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to move. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. Just a little, little snippet, y'all. Just a little snippet. Don't you think I thought about quitting your daddy? But every time I got shook, I went right back to the Bible, back to the Word, prayed it on out. And when did you have to stop running back to the Bible about daddy? When I buried him, baby. When I first saw this, I was I, like, I just bust out laughing because I think I, I, I started the movie wanting to laugh and I saw it as a comedy. So when I first saw this scene, I just bust out laughing. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. But after I sat with it, like today, I watched the movie like probably three days ago. But when I sat with it, it hit home. That's all I'm going to say. Like it hit, it hit home very, very hard. I feel like when it comes down to like women, especially older women, like the men kind of take over their lives. So everything is about him, lifting him up. Even though Lee Curtis in the very beginning of the movie is clear that he's going through a scandal, but his wife, Trinity, she said, okay, I'm staying with him. I'm gonna just keep praying, keep being the best Christian woman I can be. And this, I bit my tongue. <laughs> and this is like all we see throughout the movie is her standing by Lee Curtis. So no matter what, shenanigans he's got going on, she's still stand by. And hearing her own mother kind of just, just co-sign that, like, yeah, that's the way, that's just life. You're supposed to stay there until he dies. So to me, that's sad. Like, it's a lot of scenes where, like I said, in the middle, especially at the end, when it slows down and it just starts getting, like, sad. Me having two little girls, I will never want this life for, for my little girls, like the life Trinity has. Like I'd rather them have like their own, their own identity, and then they can find like a man that kind of just, you know, like amplifies their identity, but not like they shouldn't need a man to find their identity or find like their purpose. So Trinity, I feel like her only purpose is to serve Lee Curtis, and that's the sad part. That's like her only purpose. So even if he does wrong, and he did do wrong, she's just stuck in it. And we got the Sumpters. I think that's the, their last name in the movie. We got the Sumpters behind us. I'm gonna end this review soon because I don't wanna <laughs> want y'all y'all to see too much going on in the background. But the Sumpters, they were kind of like an add-on because they weren't in a short film at all. You'll see that if you watch it. Where, where, what movie or series did she come from, y'all? Like I recognize her from somewhere, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's a sitcom or something. I think that's about it when it comes down to my spoiler-free review because I can't go into detail uh without spoiling it but if you guys want to chop it up with me in the comment section like feel free we can chop it up down there i'm trying to think if there's anything else i should point out about this movie that i haven't said already well i already got it in the title i know feel, i feel like christians are not going to like this movie like i even told my mom about this movie at first i'm like yeah i even give you my peacock my peacock account if you want to watch it she's like all right sure but but after I watched it, I was like, uh, I don't think like her as a strong Christian woman is going to like this. But I will say, if you can just look past like all the, the shenanigans that's going on in the movie and look at a deeper story, I feel like it's something you can take away from it. That's something I will say. So maybe I will send my login information, Peacock login information to my mom so you can, she can check it out. But I'll give her a warning. I should have said this warning in the beginning of the video. Yeah, it does have like a lot of swearing and and yeah, that's that's about it. Just a lot of swearing and stuff like that. I recommend watching the movie. It's, it's a fun movie to watch. Like I, I enjoyed it. it. It gets a little raunchy. The comedy gets a little raunchy. So I'm going to warn you. If you haven't seen it, it gets, it gets raunchy. But but it, it'll sit with you. All right, it'll sit with you. All right, that's all I got.